run was uh, amazing. When I saw season one, I was very upset that I wasn't part of Tehran. And um, it so happened that I manifested being in season two. So um, being part of a series that is um, that has won an Emmy for the best international series is um, obviously great. I mean, I think I'm doing everything right. I have been a big fan of Gerard Butler since um, my childhood, I can say. And um, I obviously never thought that I'm going to be part of his production, part of his film. So, and, and he is amazing. We're, we're such great friends now. I'm just, uh, it's, it's just, it just feels like he's just a very normal person, not a huge superstar. Hi everyone, this is Elnaz Naruzi and you're watching me on Mirchi Plus. Hi, this is Amina Shekhar, and with me today I have the very gorgeous, just stunning Elnaz Nawrozi. Well, what should I say about her? She impressed us with her dance moves in Chuk Chuk Chiyo, and now she's all set to impress you once again with her Hollywood debut, welcoming her on Mirchi Plus. Hi, Elnaz. Hi, hi. So, Elnaz, I must say, I must congratulate you for your dance number in uh, Juk Juk Jiu and a special role also yeah. in the movie. The movie got a lot of, you know, appreciation. Even today, you know, at the event, Varun Dhawan said like, you know, it was highly watched movie on Amazon. So how does that make you feel? And how was, how was your association with this movie? With Juk Juk Jiu? Um, well, uh, it was a great cameo. Um, it was fun being part of such a big movie. Um, and, uh, I mean, I, I, I quite liked uh, the number that I danced to, the scene that I had with um, Anilji. Um, it was a cool experience. At the same time, tell me about your Hollywood debut. You have got a lot of people out there excited with your Hollywood debut. So what is it about? Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it's it's a Gerard Butler action movie, which is called Kandahar. And um, it's coming at the beginning of next year. And um, yeah, surprise. But, you know, how was it like working with Gerard Butler of all, you know, because he's one, you know, one sensation people love to and would love to work with him. So how was it for you? Obviously great. Um, I, I have been a big fan of Gerard Butler since um, my childhood, I can say. And um, I obviously never thought that I'm going to be part of his production, part of his film. Um, so, and, and he is amazing. We're, we're such great friends now. I'm just, uh, it's, it's just, it just feels like he's just a very normal person, not a huge superstar. At the same time, Elnaz, uh, tell me that, is it the reason that, you know, is it the action oriented film you're doing, you're working on? Yeah, it's an action movie. It's an action movie. Yes. Yeah. So is it why you went to Los Angeles to shoot for it? No, we shot this in, um, in Jeddah. In, in Saudi Arabia. Okay. So apart from this, you know, your item number also came and I would not say item number. That's not, not, not the right term because I remember precisely you being very clear about it. Like, you know, why people always say that, you know, she's an item girl or an item boy. So I would not say that same thing, but you know, there is a special song, which is, which is also, which you, you know, worked on recently. Tell me something about that. Which song? The Marathi one. It oh. was a Takatak 2 thing, but you know, the Marathi right. one. So how was, you know, turning that Marathi Mulgi thing for you? Oh, uh, it was uh, pretty hard, I must say, because I don't speak any Marathi. But um, I was happy that they chose me for it um, mm -hmm. and that, that they believed and trusted in the fact that I would be able to pull it off. And um, I remember um, I was learning the lyrics and they were saying, yeah, it's okay, you just mime it as long as it sounds the same. And I was like, no, it has to be the same. Like, I need to do this properly. I can't just, you know, do this half-heartedly. So I worked really hard on it, on the dance, um, as well as on the language, because um, for me, it's important to do it properly. So um, I quite like that song. It's one of my favorite songs. So, Ella, so I also want to know from you, if we should not be calling this song, you know, as item songs or say, you know, even item number for that matter, what is the other term would, would you prefer? Just a special song or what exactly would you like to prefer because you recently said that you know it's a why why you know someone is you know addressed also as you know an item girl or say an item boy and you're rightly you know you're quite right i just don't understand what item is supposed to mean mm -hmm. what is item you know an item uh this is an item that's an item mm -hmm. these are items <laughs> this is an item <laughs> you know um 
in the English language. That's an item. Yeah. So I just don't know what that is supposed to be. It's a it's a it's a song in a movie. India has so many songs in their movies. It's just it's a song in a movie. You know, it's a special song with um, an actor that is not part of the movie. You know, uh, a guest appearance. A, song you know like how you do a cameo or a guest appearance in a movie you do that with songs in india so also, i don't know tell me something tell me something about lala move you know what exactly you know how was it like working on that one for you uh especially lala love lala love sorry not lala move lala. Lala. i'm so sorry lala love actually how was it working on that? and at the same time you have also recently turned a singer so tell me something about that you know how excited were you for all these things coming up to you on your platter. Uh, yeah, it's it's great. I never saw myself really as a singer. So, um when this happened to me and and I, and I happened to do everything on my own from scratch, you know, um write the songs with the lyricist, um make the song from scratch, produce the song, um put my own money, shoot the video, um produce it, direct it, um release it on my own um it was it was very very hard and 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 i must say making music is really hard but i am so proud of what i have achieved with lala love um it's number two on the charts on the dj charts in germany um i was just talking to my team last week and um my pr team in germany they were saying we don't know anyone else whose first song has been in the charts for uh, on the number two on the charts. So um, <laughs> she was saying this is very unusual. So I was quite happy to hear that because I put so much hard work in it. And um, I knew it's not gonna be as big in India because it's an English song, but I, I had hopes that um, Europe is gonna like it. And so it happened. So yeah, that's that. There was something also about Tehran too. You know, how was it working on that? that again itself is you know a big project for you so how was it working for it tehran was uh, amazing um when i saw season one i was very upset that i wasn't part of tehran and um it so happened that i manifested being in season two so um being part of a series that is um that has won an emmy for the best international series mm. is um obviously great. I mean, I think I'm doing everything right. At the same time, recently you also spoke about the atrocities in taking place in Iran and your voice was heard by a lot of people and people really appreciate that, you know, you are out there to talk about it. If you have to say something about it, because, you know, as a, as a girl, even I would not prefer someone going through this and, you know, someone being treated in such a bad way. And, you know, it's, it doesn't happen only in India. It happens, you know, around the world where you know women are treated in, in a certain way and they have always considered as weaker section though they do a lot of things and they play multiple roles at the same time so what would you like to say on that yeah the people are proud that i speak up about it or you know um well this is something you should be doing um i'm not doing anything special honestly um if you love your country and if you um stand for something that is right and that is not about iran being my country or not this is about women's rights this is about human rights um you got to stand up for it as a human so um i'm taking all the part that i'm iranian and that iran is my country out of this equation and saying that people are being killed bluntly on the road um women are being oppressed suppressed everything possible somebody needs to stand up for it and now a whole nation countries the world is standing up for it and the least that i can do is stand up for it too and as you recently also that that you're quite okay and quite happy being single though we do see your instagram reels where you really have some very interesting videos i must say you know that mommy wala conversation especially so tell me something about that you know you you're really enjoying a single them completely you love this space of yours no no it's not that that i enjoy being single completely but yes i enjoy being single over being in the wrong relationship mm -hmm. or with the wrong person and and um i think all of these uh single and relationship reels they're really working for me and people really connect those with me now and um I make fun of it, uh, though I, I, I am a very emotional person. And if I'm in a relationship, I give my 100%. So um, 
I would love to be in a fulfilling relationship, which is not happening right now. So I'm happy to be single. And I think recently you also said that you know your struggle has been quite different because of course you don't come with a you know with a Bollywood background. Uh, you have been part of such you know big big projects, but at the same time you had your own journey to struggle. So now do you feel contented with the kind of project is you know coming to coming your way? These are very different. You know, it it also takes a lot of efforts for people to even reach Hollywood, and you have touch wood fortunately managed to do that. So what do you have to say about that? Do you feel that you know that that kind of you know satisfaction now? Uh, no, I feel that it's been a very tough journey, and it still is. Even in Bollywood, I'm still looking for the right projects for myself. I'm still looking for projects that I would love to do, and uh, hopefully will do one day. And yeah, reaching um, an international project like Tehran, a Hollywood film like Kandahar. Um, I feel no matter how big or small your role is, once you make it in in countries where you don't speak the language or where it's not your country, it's already a big achievement, be it Bollywood, be it Hollywood, wherever. I'm proud of myself for that fact. And I also um, know that I have a long way to go still and, and so much more to achieve, obviously. And uh, I'm just taking it day by day and um, taking up projects that I think um, are right for me. Unless I'm sure you must be getting this compliment almost every single day that you look very gorgeous and beautiful. But I really want to know the cheesiest comment you have got so far from any of your fans or any of your crushes, you know, who have crush on you. Oh my God, I don't remember. There was, there was, a, there was a very, very cheesy um, line that I once received, but I just don't remember. Um, let me think about it. It was some pickup line... Um, I don't remember, but yeah, there are, there are, there are some, there are really some weird pickup lines that uh, people throw at you and then you're just like, okay. But then again, it, it kind of makes me laugh also because it's so stupid and so funny. Then you're like, um, okay, uh, that's quite cool. You know, you're funny, mm, but then you can't really take it seriously. But yeah, I, I, I don't really remember what, what line it was. Yeah, how happy, how uh, it was something like it was something like, are you are you uh, Google because you're the answer to all of my questions or all of my problems or something. Wow, that's actually excellent. I must say that. But Elnaz, also, you know, you recently also revealed that, you know, for the very first time you had to speak in Farsi, which is your mother tongue. So, you know, if you could say certain words in Farsi for your fans out there. Yeah, <laughs> I can. You want me to say it in Farsi now? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so Wow, which means? I just said to all my Iranian um, people who are in Iran right now and risking their lives on the roads, um, we're all with you. I'm with you. Thank you. Awesome. But before I let you go, I'm going to play a very small segment. It's like, you know, two things. And apart from that, a very small segment with you. First of all, five ways to get a man's attention. Be yourself. Be confident. Uh, love yourself. Let loose. Be funny. Let, yeah. Okay. Five. Okay. <laughs> Literally. And five ways, five ways to ignore a man. To ignore a man, I mean, why oh, do you need to ignore him? Yeah. Don't answer the messages, don't call, don't look at him, don't, <laughs> don't answer. I don't know. Why would you need to ignore? <laughs> I don't know. That's actually fun. And apart from this, what are your upcoming projects you're working on, Elnaz? What is keeping you busy? I am starting a new series um, at the end of this um, coming month in October. I'm starting to shoot for that, which I cannot reveal yet entirely. I have um, Made in Heaven season two coming at the beginning of uh, next year. I'm part of that. Um, Kandahar and um, I have another song releasing before the end of this year. I have um, Sangin, which is a thriller with Nawazuddin Siddiqui, which hopefully sometime soon releases. And um, yeah, that's it for now. And that's a very small segment which I'm going to play with you is about this or that. What do you have to choose between the two? If you have to choose between the two, okay? Uh, what would you choose? So one cheat day in a week or one hour of cheat meal every day? One hour of cheat meal every day. Lip gloss or matte lipstick? Matte lipstick. Lip, lip gloss. Okay. Coal or mascara? Mascara. Okay. Hair serum or coconut oil? 
Hands here. Kegs or heels? Heels. Okay. Swimwear or sari? Sari. Okay. Modeling or acting? Acting. Gymming or swimming? Gymming. Maldives or Daman? Oh! Uh, Maldives because I've never been. Okay. Pani Puri or Dosa? Dosa. Okay. Pockets or purses? Purses. And lastly, wine or protein shake? Ah! This is so different things. You could have asked wine or gin. It would have been easier. Wine or protein shake? I do both. <laughs> I cannot choose between wine and protein you shake. Both. You can definitely have both. And it's Monday. So I'm just hoping that it's going to help you out because you, are, you had a very hectic schedule, I must say. Thank you. Thank you so much, Elnaz. Thank you for your time. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.